Hi and welcome, it's Jenna from McGuire and I hope you're having a great week. Today I wanted to share with you a technique that can be used in many creative ways and today I'm using it on backgrounds. This technique I call partial embossing. This is a good way to get more looks from stamps that you may have and today I'll be showing it with background stamps. So I have four examples for you and I'm also going to be showing you some new beautiful pearl watercolors that I'm having a lot of fun playing with. So I'm going to be using a variety of colors of cardstock today. This technique works really well on darker colors of cardstock. I'll link to the ones I use below. And I've cut these down all to four and a quarter by five and a half. Now you can do this technique on other colors, but I really like it on the dark. I'm also using the Gansai Tambi Pearl Watercolors. I'm a big fan of these and their regular watercolors, so I was excited when they came out with these pearl colors. They're just gorgeous. They can be used on white or colored cardstocks, but I particularly like it on the color. I'm also using four new background stamps today from Simon Says Stamp. This is the Cora background stamp on the left and the Flora on the right. And this is the flower medallion on the left and the star flower on the right. And I'll show you cards with each of these. I really like these backgrounds because they're fun for tone on tone or for doing some bold coloring by coloring each of those things in. I'm starting with the Simon Says Stamp Flora background. This happens to be my favorite. And I am going to use my Misty stamping tool. However, you do not need the Misty for this technique. I just wanted to show you that you could use it if you wanted to. You just need to remove the black foam pad from inside the Misty when you're using red rubber cling stamps like this background. I have some dark gray cardstock and I'm inking up my stamp with Versmark ink and I'm going to stamp it on the dark gray. And you'll notice that I'm not centering it on the dark gray but rather stamping it off to the side. I want that center focal point to be to the side of that gray cardstock. Now you gotta put a lot of muscle on this since this is a large stamp. And then I'm going to go ahead and take it out of my Misty and add some clear embossing powder. Now I'm not covering the whole piece because I only want to heat emboss kind of a pattern from this background stamp. So I've put some powder down and I'm using a dry brush to brush away the powder from that outside area. I've kind of picked a line that I want to follow around this pattern and I'm going to uh, remove any of the embossing powder that's outside of that and leave it on towards the center. This is very simple to do with a dry brush. Now this is a pretty complicated background image. So this one takes a little bit of time to remove the powder. It took me about five minutes, but I'll show you some later in this video that are much faster to do. So anywhere I remove the embossing powder will be left with just a tone on tone stamped image. Anywhere I leave the embossing powder, it'll end up being raised and shiny and darker. So we're gonna just highlight that area from the center of that background pattern. So instead of heat embossing the entire background, we're doing partial heat embossing. Just heat embossing the areas we want by brushing away the powder from areas we don't. Okay, so now I'm going to add some watercolor. This is the Gansai Tambi watercolor in the pearl. So this gives you pearly results and it looks really cool on dark colors of cardstock. I started by adding drops of water to each of the colors so that it kind of soaks in and makes the paint creamy so it'll be ready for me to paint. So once I've got some of the pink on my brush, I'm going to go ahead and start painting this in. Now one of the fantastic things about heat embossing is that it resists the paint. So it's really easy to stay inside of the lines when you heat emboss because it kind of makes the uh, watercolor pool up in between the lines. So I'm just going to pick parts of the pattern to color in with this pearl watercolor. Now all of that uh, stamping that you see outside of the embossing, I'm just going to leave as is. So I'm really only painting in the areas that are heat embossed. I could paint the rest of it, but I really just wanted to pull the attention to the heat embossed area. You can use any metallic or pearl watercolors for this technique. However, I really am happy with the results of this particular pearl watercolor. I find that the colors are intense and they work well also on white cardstock. I find some of them don't work well on white, but this one does. Okay, so now that I have my panel colored and dried, I'm going to add my embellishments to it. Here I have a piece of white cardstock that I'm adding to some double-sided tape. Now, I'll be honest, I usually use Stick It double-sided tape, but I can't find mine. I went to a craft retreat this weekend and I can't find it, so I'm just using Be Creative double-sided tape. It really doesn't matter. But basically, I have white cardstock with adhesive on the back. 
I'm going to go ahead and die cut this with a Simons' Stamp Friends die. This is a beautiful die. It's an older one, but I use it often. And now I have a Friends die cut here that's very intricate with adhesive already on the back. And I cut the letter S off so it said Friend instead of Friends. I also trimmed the back down a little bit and I die cut a vellum heart. I thought that vellum heart would kind of mute out the background so that the focus can be on the sentiment that we're adding. So I'm kind of laying my word die cut over this. Remember there's already adhesive on the back. And once I have this in position and everything's done, I can press this down firmly and my die cut will actually hold that heart in place. I'm using the Simon Says Stamp Mom and Dad Icons stamp set. This is a new one. And I'm taking the sentiment that says, So happy you're my. And I'm putting that above the word friend. I actually cut the sentiment in half so that I could stack the words. But I can always stamp it how it was originally intended if I wanted to. This is a mother and father stamp set. But there are things in there that you can use for other things, such as this friend card. So I stamped it with Versamark ink and I'm adding white embossing powder and I'll go ahead and heat set that. I like that the white stamping matches the white die cut friend that we have created. Now I can place this onto my stamped panel and I'm going to press this down very firmly to make sure that it stays and it holds our vellum in place on this panel. Now I will say that I wanted the friend word to stand out more. And when I want something to stand out extra, what I do is I double up the die cuts or triple them up. So I die cut two more and you hear them right on top of the last one. And that allows it to kind of pop up and have some dimension. I added this to a four and a quarter by five and a half inch note card. And now I'm adding some sequins. These are iridescent sequins that are perfect for kind of matching that pearlescent watercolor that we did. I'm going to add those with Ranger Multimedium in the matte finish. That's a strong adhesive that's matte drying. And I'm using some small Hero Arts gems to add to the center of the sequins. Sometimes I like to kind of cover up the holes in the sequins with the gem. And then I can also accent with the gems. So this kind of pulls the color in, but doesn't distract from that background. Now I'm also going with the white pearl from that Gansai Tambi watercolor set, and I'm painting the white onto our white die cut. This will allow the white cardstock friend to have that pearly shine that matches the background perfectly. This is gorgeous in real life. The color's more intense from certain angles than it is others and lighter from certain angles than it is others, which is what really makes these watercolors special. Now I wanted to show you how this also works on lighter colored cardstock, even white. I decided to go with a super gray cardstock or light gray cardstock for this example. This cardstock is Simon Says Stamp Fog cardstock and I'm using the Simon Says Stamp Cora background with the Simon Says Stamp Smoke ink. So I'm first stamping this with a gray ink. So we'll have a darker gray ink on the light gray cardstock. Now what I'm going to do is ink this up again, after I clean the stamp of course, ink it up with Versamark ink and stamp, stamp right on top. So what we have is a gray ink with Versamark ink on top. This will allow me to do partial embossing and in the areas where we don't want the embossing, we'll have gray. Because if I just stamped with Versamark, the Versamark doesn't stand out very much on light colored cardstocks. So I'm adding clear, I'm sorry, white embossing powder towards the center of this image. Now this image really is easy to do partial embossing. I can very easily take a dry brush and knock away any embossing powder outside from that center area and then heat set everything in the center. So now I have a white heat embossed image towards the center and just regular gray stamping towards the outside. So I trim that down a bit and I again use those same pearl watercolors to add bits of color to the center. Remember you can make these watercolors less intense by using more water and more intense by making it creamy with less water or doing multiple layers. And check it out when you tilt it in the light it can be either dark or light. Now this card is pretty similar to the first one. I die cut the word friend from black cardstock instead this time. And I black heat embossed the sentiment, so happy you're my, on vellum so I could add that right above the word friend. 
I used just a little bit of liquid adhesive behind the embossed letters to adhere that vellum to the card, but you could also use Stick It double-sided adhesive for this, but this worked just fine. So I'm putting the two little vellum sentiments above the die cut word and I decided to leave it simple by just adding that onto a four and a quarter by five and a half inch white note card. But there you can see that the pearl watercolors work great on light colored card stocks. I also created matching envelopes with a fun new stamp set from Simon's stamp called Sending Flowers. You can see there are some layering flowers in here, but what I'm using is kind of that label to put on the front of an envelope to mail your card. So I have a pink metallic envelope from Simon's Stamp, and I have a printed transparency grid for my Misty. You can also buy that or create your own. I'm using a bar magnet to hold it in place, and I'm lining up my little label pieces on the front. I've put the frame, the lines for the address, and Happy Mail 4, a little sentiment right above that. Now I'll close my Misty, remove that grid transparency, and now this is ready to stamp on a bunch of envelopes. I'm using my anti-static powder tool, stamping it with Versamark ink and white heat embossing this. While I have all my supplies out, I might as well do this now, and then the envelope will be ready when it's time to mail. You could stamp this and not heat emboss, but I thought that white embossing powder would look really nice against this pink metallic envelope. And I did that for all four of my card examples. So there you can see how it matches nicely. The pearlized kind of metallic envelope matches the pearl watercolor that we did on our cards. So this is the first card that I showed you. I really like the results of this one, how it kind of has a focal point with the sentiment at the center. And you can see the big difference that partial embossing made. You have the stamped image around the outside and the heat embossed image towards the inside with the color added inside. You can also see that the word friend has that pearly finish since I used the watercolors on it too. Here's the second card we made on the lighter color cardstock. We first stamped with the gray ink and then white heat embossed just towards the center area. And I have simple sentiments on that. I didn't want to add embellishments because I was afraid it would be a little distracting. I created two other cards today. This one is on craft cardstock, and I stamped with Versamark ink the Simons' stamp star flower and partial heat embossed towards the center with silver embossing powder. I watercolored that in with the pearl watercolor once again and added the sentiment to that. I used a different Simons' stamp friend die for this one. It's from the family and friends die set. And here we have the Simons' Stamp Flower Medallion Background. Stamp that with Versamark ink on dark cardstock. And then I partially heat embossed with clear embossing powder towards the center and added the pearl watercolor again. So there you have a way of using partial heat embossing to get more from your background stamps. I hope this was helpful. I have links below in my YouTube description to all the supplies, but go to my blog for more photos and information. I thank you for watching. Be sure to check out the other videos in the center, and I hope to see you again soon.